So if you're new around here, we're Andy, Helen and our camper van Giovanna. Inspired by our love of travel, we make videos as we explore the world, experiencing new countries and cultures. So why not join us on our van life adventures? Good morning everybody. So it's a new day and um, I'm going to be taking Helen up Scarfell Pike. She's not looking forward to it. It's a long way up, but the weather is absolutely gorgeous. And I think it's the perfect day to get a climb. It's about 3,200 feet we're going to climb. Um, it's going to be spectacular, especially with the views down the valley towards the coast and over into Estelle and places like that. So stick with us and I hope you enjoy this walk. Starting our climb up Scarfell. It's quite nice down this little bit on the on the flat. We soon to be going up. But up ahead of us, you can see our route up um, to Scarfell itself. It's a long way. So our route today is going to take us along Longmel Gill, which you can just see over there on the left, um, and then we're going to go to the right of Brown Tongue, past some cairns, but when we get up to a place called Hollow Stones, we're gonna veer off and we're gonna go up by a Mucklemore, which is a steep crag, um, onto a level over past a load of stones and rocks um, to Scarfell Pike itself. And the reason we're going this route is we don't wanna go on the touristy route, which is long, tedious, and uninteresting. We're going up via Micklemore is uh, just incredible. And uh, keep with us and you'll see what we mean. So how are you finding the walk? Very, very hard. harder than I thought. And this is the easy bit. Well Bear in mind we walk between six and ten miles a day. It's We've only walked just over a mile so far. Right, so we've uh, come off the touristy path, which is to our left that goes via hollow stones, and now we're taking the path up to Micklemore. And it's tough. Um, lots of breaks in this one, Anna? Yes. How are you feeling? Knackered. <laughs> Having to talk. And this is where we're going up. You can just see there's a a scree slope in front of us and there's a few other hardy walkers up there as well big smile how you doing big smile big smile you haven't seen where we got to go yet oh no where up there How's that stick? Is it helping? Yeah. You having a rest already? Well, I am. I'm not even looking where we're going. But that was the easy bit we just did. So you can see where we climbed from. Down there in the distance, just by the right of the lake, is where Giovanna's parked, and uh, that's a tourist path over there. You don't want to do that. You want to do this one up Mucklemore, a oh, Mickleboard, yeah, that's it. With the sheep. That's Micklemore up there, and we're going to climb over the top. If you look closely, you might just see a couple of little people up there with their doggy. But 
gone up in front of us and we're going to follow them up to the crest and then over to the left to get to the top of Scarfield. Is that worth the fine? Oh wow, oh my word! Uh -huh. So we've made it up to the people door and we've got the stop loss on. Yeah. And um, just over here is the top of Scarfell. So we'll have a break here, then we're going to climb up to Scarfell because. Uh, climb up to Mickledore was through that cloudy pass behind me and uh, that's tough. That's probably the toughest walk we've done, isn't it? It probably is, I'd yeah. say. I'd say it's more of a climb than a walk. Yeah, there's a lot of scrambles, the scree slope. <coughs> it's much better than going on the tourist path though. There's so many people on the other path. This one, I think it was only us and a couple of other people. So if you're coming up to uh, Scarfo for a walk, try and come up the Mickledore route. You'll enjoy it. It's so much more stunning. And, uh, as long as you're physically fit. Yeah, it is a tough one. So we're on the final ascent up to Scarfield. Clouds are just starting to roll in. Temperature's dropped a bit, but it's tantalizingly close. Now you can see <coughs> why we came off the tourist route and came up by a middle door to avoid this. <laughs> That's it, we made it, we're up the top and you're unbelievably busy. Definitely want to come up here on a different day. So that's the top of Scarfell behind us. We're now going to come down the flank a little bit and walk across the corridor and start heading down again now. But you wouldn't believe just how busy it is and noisy it is. So we've come down past Broad Crag which is up to my right here and uh, just in the distance there's middle boot knots and uh, we're going to walk round to the right just as a little nick in the distance you can see there and that will take us along the corridor route and it's pretty tough coming down a lot of loose stones I've only fallen over once twice I'm not sure how many times Helen's None? fallen over you're not falling over at all no, yet? Not oh it had been on my backside oh, God, Thank you. 
and uh, just there is Great Gable. I think uh, the views climbing up and the views coming down from Scarfell are far more impressive than the views from the top. It's so busy up there, um, but this is just just breathtaking. Just where you can see those people in a distance, that's the corridor route that takes us down into the valley and uh, our journey home. But we're gonna go off to the left here and there's a lovely lake. We're gonna sit by this lake and have a nice drink in the peace and quiet. over in the distance yeah. you can see the corridor route and people walking on it. And over in the distance there you can see our path back down towards that. destination is right down the valley there those lush green fields and the pub Grrrr. <laughs> 
the end of a fantastic walk. It's been one of the toughest walks I think we've done. Fair to agree, yeah. yeah. Um, 9,000 meters or so of rock, scree, streams, rivers, you name it, we had it. lamb has just been born but wow what a climb tomorrow i think we're going to take a, a leisurely walk around the lake here it's uh, about eight miles but it's flat all the way around but hope you enjoyed this video guys and uh, come back and see our next one thanks for watching if you like this video and want to see more please like and subscribe, it helps our channel grow.